everybody. Welcome back. My name is Tara. If you haven't been here before, this is Love My Refuge, where I'm teaching myself and hopefully you to love the place that you're in in your life. Love your home, those sort of things. Those are our refuge. So today we're doing house plants because it's one of my favorite things. It brings me lots of happiness, especially rescuing them. That's rewarding when you find a sick plant like this one and you bring it home to fix it up. So this is a fiddle leaf fig tree. These can get pretty big. <laughs> um, and this here, just the fact that it's all brown is a sign that it has drainage problems. Um, and it was inside of another pot. Actually, I have it right here. It's a nice little thing. See, but there's no drainage. So, um, obviously I took it out of that pot and she was very, very dry when I brought her home. So I did water her because she was drooping. So even though this, this is signs that there's a, a problem, um, she was so dry that I had to water her and then just let her drain out. So right now I'm going to start by cutting off all of the really bad leaves because they just put stress on the plant of trying to repair itself um, and it wastes a lot of its energy on doing that instead of like getting healthy in places where where it could get healthy <laughs> faster without these big, uh, we'll call them like, I don't know, like infection sites. It's almost, I don't know. You just don't want them. This is a really, really big leaf. But I really do think that she's got chopped. Another thing about, you know, trimming or pruning plants is that they grow back. And if you don't, prune them to death, <laughs> then um, you'll get new regrowth and you'll get a lot more and it'll be healthier. So I guess I'm gonna get these. I hate to do this to you guys. There's a lot cutting them out. Oh. See, this one's chewed by my cat. That's totally not cool. I hate, they, they like some of my plants and that's why you have to watch. Um, they ate my spider plant, which is a hallucinogenic. Ooh, and they love it. So I watered this like two days ago and it's still holding a lot of water down in here. And if you smell it, a lot of times if you smell a musty smell, that means that you've probably got root rot and you want to get all of the dead rot and roots taken <laughs> care of so that they don't spread to the rest of the plant. So what? Oh, wow. She's very, very bound up. This is a very big, thick root right here. This thing definitely needs more dirt with better drainage. So I'm going to get all of this dirt out of here because if I don't, it's just going to keep collecting in here. This is so cool. I love doing this because you, you feel and can see the structure of the roots, which is always amazing to me. So this isn't going to kill the plant. You want to be as gentle as you can course. Get as much of the dirt out as you can so that we can replace it with new more drainable dirt. Let's talk about that. So I've got this indoor or outdoor use mix for plants and for potted plants but normally it's still too dense to drain well um, for my house plants, so or uh, so um, to keep them from getting root rot, I add extra things like perlite 
Um, and I have some peat moss that I'm also gonna add because it retains moisture and nutrients, but oof. Um, it's light and airy. So those two things will help it to not have root rot, basically. Look at this, this is amazing. It, <laughs> that is so amazing. Wow, dude. What also is amazing is that the veins in our bodies and the rivers and the streams, the lightning in the sky, all have the same pattern. <laughs> Tell me everything happened on accident. Woo. <laughs> I don't know, when I look at things, I see a creator plan for this. It's like, man. Can't imagine. so happy. All right, so, wow, these poor things. Wow. So, this one had actually wrapped its way all the way around and then come back out the top. Hey, poor baby. I don't know what happened to you. Maybe you got spilled? Okay, so. The roots. Do not they do not seem super bad to me. Really want to give her a rinse. The only water I have is fertilizer water. And I'm going to add perlite and stuff. Alright. So I'm going to add perlite to this to make it less thick. It's way too thick. And we're going to give it some food. Um, I do not, it doesn't look like it has root. This is perlite. It is Miracle Grow. If this was a plant that I was going to eat, I absolutely would not use Miracle Grow ever. I don't know. That already feels like a lot better. I still want it to be even more so. So I'm throwing more in. <laughs> Because if water sits in there, or if I overwater her, she is going to get root rot and die. And I'd rather underwater her because you can see that when the leaves start to droop, that's when you need to water because they're like, I'm thirsty and I don't have the energy to hold myself up, basically. Um, but if you drown them because they can't, um, you know, because the soil won't drain. It's just like us. You can't give us too much too much oxygen. Well, you don't want to give plants too much water either. It's almost better to underwater them. Not all of them. Some of them you can't do that with, but a lot you can. All right. Which we can talk about that <laughs> in an upcoming video, of course. 
So, all right, how am I gonna do this? I'm just gonna lay it down again. I'm so sorry for this dress. This may cause you. She has bad signs all over her, so I'm really hoping that this will keep it from being a problem. Also, I'm gonna start watering her with um, some hydrogen peroxide, 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide mixed in to your watering can. Um, I think it's like a third, you don't quote me on that, you might look that up, how much uh, peroxide to put into your watering can. Um, but, definitely put too much in there. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm talking. Can't chew gum and walk, can't talk and plant. <laughs> so why didn't I put this in a bigger pot though? That's really what I should be doing and I don't have a bigger pot for it. Uh, you're going in here with the butter soil for now. And when spring comes, you're so root bound though, dude. I think that you will actually be okay in here till spring comes. Maybe a couple months to sit in the new soil. And then we'll look for a new pot for you because you, you grew out of this one. But the fact that I'm giving her all new soil um, is really gonna, gonna feed her well. So, I make such a mess when I do things. There's a lot of exposed roots on top, so I'm gonna make sure those get covered up. Just gonna kind of work the soil down in there because there's that olive spot underneath. You want it to get in there, you know. So I got a gallon of water here with some um, seaweed fertilizer. I believe I got it from Amazon. I oftentimes use Neptune's Harvest Fish Emulsion. Um, I hate the smell of it, though. It makes me gag so bad. But it also doesn't last long, and I'm just ridiculous. I'm one of those people that you can film because you make me gag so easily. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> okay. There, baby girl. Now I'm going to... Clean some of this up and then stick her in this tub and give her a good water. I'm gonna have to clean this up. <laughs> what a mess. I love this table though for this so much. I love this table for everything. I can write messages on my table and just dry erase right off, or even wet erase. Both work just the same. All right, so I'm just gonna pour this into this guy quick. Because I have other plants that need transplanting as well. The next one that we're going to rescue is this little guy who's rescuing, rescuing him from myself, basically. He's been in here over a year. I probably paid two bucks for him. Um, but he should get really big. I want to put him in here. He will benefit also from this very like uh, arid soil. So he's next. But let's see. I'm just gonna stick this in here, and I'm gonna water it in there. But then I'm gonna take it out and let it drain some more, and then I'll dump this. Normally, I would just put her in the sink and just drown. Around her. <laughs> so this has fertilizer in it, like I said. Let me see real quick what I got. This is Blue Planet Nutrients Liquid Seaweed Growth Stimulator. It's good for basically everything. It's a good one for if you're growing plants in water. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew either hydroponically or just in a glass of water and you change it weekly. And you can use that to feed your plants. And 
The only thing I don't like is the color of the water, but I mean, I don't know any other fertilizer that isn't like fake fertilizer that would look pretty. So let me know in the comments if you know of any, because <laughs> I'll use it in my, um, Oh my gosh, my plants that are in water. Okay, this just feels so much better. Girl, you're gonna do so much better. Aw, poor thing. Aww. How are we doing? See if she's, oh yeah, see this is what you wanna see. And you want it to be completely done doing that before you put it back in its pot. So I'm going to stick it in that one so I can actually see when it's done. And I'm going to plant this in here. We need a little bit more dirt. So this is a snake plant, also known as a mother-in-law tongue. Uh, they get very big. You've probably seen them everywhere if you've been to plant stores. <laughs> um, or even just Walmart and I love these because actually so I've got two plants here technically I could make two separate snake plants and eventually they get very big they'll keep continue growing into the space that you give them until they are completely crowded and they pluck more from them and plant them again so I love them I love them because they fill in space they make greenery I want my whole house to be a jungle for real I cannot wait for that day it's already like beginning <laughs> which I'll have to do an apartment tour when it's like much more clean. <laughs> that is also like another part of this channel is me getting organized and make things function for myself. So this is a nice, this feels nice. This is Rejuvenate Potting Soil Mix. Premium all purpose for indoor and outdoor use. This feels really nice. That feels so nice. Very good. All right, so I'm mixing it with the perlite. Now, I need to look in here for drainage. I don't remember what you got. You got tiny little stupid holes for drainage. The good thing about a snake plant is that you can underwater them. <laughs> so, and they do well enough they do well in places that don't have a ton of light, but any plant, most plants, if they're in light, will gain color. Not all of them. Some of them you don't want in bright light, but this is one that you could put in light and it would do just fine. It would be beautiful. So it'll be interesting to see on here in a year how far things have come. I'm really excited for that. I'll be able to see all my little baby plants get huge. That's what makes me happy. I gotta say, this stuff is neat. Helps <laughs> prevent soil compaction, which then compacts water around your roots. And then you get root rot, like what we have here. This is why, again, when it's turning brown. This guy definitely doesn't have these problems. This guy just needs to be transplanted. See, he's pretty root bound, all his little roots. Um, like I said, there's two of them here I kind of want to make. I almost want to separate them. Just don't have the heart to. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put them in here. When they get bigger and there's more than just two plants, because it'll just keep making new plant babies under the soil. It's so cool. So when there's more, and I can put two more together, not that they probably really care, it's all in my head. When <laughs> I can do that, then I'll make more of these. And if my cats could just leave them alone, I'm always going to have nibbled at plants. So that's another thing, of course, is being very, very careful about what plants that you have. Don't ever get a philodendron, or not a philodendron, oh my gosh. Uh, 
poinsettia. They're very toxic. And um, lilies aren't good for them. There's some that are absolutely like will kill them, and there's some that'll just make them kind of sick. And if they just make them kind of sick, then what happens is they just don't eat it again. You know, so although some of them will say they're poisonous, they are, but they're not going to kill them. A lot of them, but then there's some that absolutely will. Um, dumb, dumb cane, I believe it's called. That will kill your cats. So there's certain things you should keep away. All right, so now we got this guy all watered. And he doesn't need to be, like, too awful soaked. He feels pretty good. All right, so there's those two. And then I have a third one which is this teeny tiny little guy here. And I have quite a few of these actually that are rooting. Um, but I just thought he was so cute. And I have this tiny little um, thing here that I could put him in. So I was thinking I'd fill this up and put this little guy in here. I collect all different kinds of jars and eventually I'll have my shop up where you can buy propagation jars and propagation things that hang um, that are made by moi. <laughs> so, um, and they're usually uh, recycled materials sometimes. That doesn't have to be the case, but it just is in this instance. All right, so I'm gonna take the saucer off because when you water it, you don't want this on, it needs to drain. All right, so. definitely see how this makes a huge difference in the soil to put this in there. If I had roots, I'd want them in the perlite soil. <laughs> Please don't rot my roots. That's creepy. mixing it as I go you know I could make it easier on myself and just mix it in different things do it ahead of time but that's not me I'm very sporadic so someday maybe that'll be something that I do always looking to improve all right so all this little dude I'm gonna poke a hole for him and just stick him right in I hope you have a wonderful time in your new home. This is new home, you know, we've got a new pot, like, yo, he's not living in a water glass anymore. He's all big pimping. Dun, 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 Crazy as I sound, I will take good care of you. Got big chips in here. Get some big chips in your dirt, you do. All right, look at that. I love these as well. For, I, <laughs> for the same reason I love all plants, you can just clip them off below one of their little tiny little bumps on them. They're called nodes. And stick them in a glass of water and they'll grow roots. And then once the roots are about this long, you can put them in dirt and have them as a plant, which is a nice thing that I like that um, houseplant people and gardeners and such do is we're trading seeds or we're taking cuttings from each other's plants. There's a really nice social life with the farmers too. Um, I would love to get a little community started here, but for now, our little community is just starting with this channel. I couldn't handle all that. 
So there we go. There's three house plants. This one does not need a ton of light. The fiddle leaf doesn't need a ton of light. None of them need a ton of light. Yay! The fiddle leaf says medium light. But as a rule of thumb, I'd say six plus hours of sunlight, even if it's indirect sunlight uh, during the day, is pretty necessary to keep them healthy. If you notice in the winter that your plants are starting to look a little blah, and you know you're like watering them and everything, you might want to think about adding a light, um, like my Wandering Jew plant, my Trendiscantia Sabrina. Um, I was killing them and didn't know why, and it was because I, she didn't have enough light. So now she's beautiful. Um, well, that's it. That's how you save a plant. You want to add perlite or something that gives it um, space in between the dirt. And you want to get some fertilizer for it for after you transplant it. You want to cut off your dead leaves, of course. If there were really bad roots that are brown and like mushy, those need to go. There weren't any brown mushy roots in there. So I'm hoping that this will fix, fix her up. Let's get one last look at her. She does look so beautiful. I think this is one of my favorite house plants. Um, and it's a new one to me and I'm so glad she's still pretty beat up, but I'm so glad I have her. Welcome home baby cakes. <laughs> All right, I guess that's the end of this video. Um, so I hope you learned something today and... Yeah. See you next time, guys.